try and fail, I tried and fail, no. How I tried and how I fail. When I was down, the Well, good morning, boss man. Today, I woke up a little earlier than I wanted to because I had somebody's face, that nose, that chin, on my face. Not below it, not above it. It was directly resting on my face. So I guess you missed me, huh? Well, guess what, buddy? The big birthday weekend begins now. I've already packed everything up. I got my shower. We're ready to, uh, we're pretty much ready to get out of here, Jaw. You ready to go hang out in paradise for your birthday? You're, you're gonna celebrate your fourth birthday, ready? All right, days with Jordan the Lion and Jaw, and Jaw's birthday weekend begin now. All right, my friends, thanks for coming back today. We're gonna try and make few stops on the way. I had originally thought, hey, I'll stop off and vlog some stuff on the way, but then I'm like, we're going to paradise. Why do we wanna go and make stops all along the way? We wanna get there and see all the cool stuff there, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop in the car and head out now. All right, so long, Hollywood. Wow, look up there to the left in the, uh, the hillside, you can see all those orange wildflowers. Isn't that beautiful? All right, I lied. I realized we were pretty close to something, so I'm gonna make a, a stop today. Well, right up here is the James Dean Memorial Highway because this is this is where James Dean was killed. Now they've reconstructed the the highway a little bit, but I'm going to do my best to show you what happened. Now, the man who hit James Dean that day was traveling down this road and James was traveling this way and you see where this turnoff is right here? At the time there was a it was a little further back there was a a turnoff if you were coming from this direction down that you could make the the left turn now, James was coming from this direction and the man, Don, was coming and trying to make the left and hit James Dean, basically turned in as James Dean was coming along and hit him head on. Wow, so James Dean's car actually started veering towards us and by eyewitness reports, it started cartwheeling and it eventually skid right over into this section right here, which is why all of this is right here. You can see people have left flowers and various things, sunglasses. Now James had just got the Porsche that he crashed in. Basically what had happened was he had traded the Porsche that he already had a week before to get this new speedster. And even when he got it, his friend said, you're gonna die in that thing. And he did. Now right over there is a James Dean Memorial Junction road sign. But I honestly don't think it's a good idea for me to cross over there. So his car would have basically came
came in this direction. Cartwheeling here. Now what's crazy is that James was the only one killed in that crash. He had a former Porsche employee and mechanic um, in the car with him. He suffered some broken bones, but this was said to have been a cursed car from the beginning. In fact, there are all kinds of legends about what happened to the car afterward. Um, they said that they believed it was such a cursed car, actually, that the day after James Dean died, somebody broke into his house in Sherman Oaks and stole a bunch of stuff out of it, and then the house caught on fire. Now, George Barris, who created a lot of memorable movie cars, including the Batmobile, he claimed to have bought the car, the wrecked car, after, and said that um, he sold two of the tires, and the person that bought the tires, uh, both tires blew out at the same time, and the guy uh, crashed into a, dish, almost, into a ditch, almost dying. And then he said he was having it sent for some sort of auto show or something, uh, to Florida and it never made it there and nobody ever saw it again. Now somebody else claims that's total fabrication and that he was the one who personally saw that the car was destroyed. Now I just thought we were on our route out to Carmel and I knew that this was just a 20 minute detour and I really wanted to come see it because James Dean was just a monumental figure and history and died so young. He had just completed the movie Giant with Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson. And um, a lot of people don't know that he was he was a part-time uh, professional race car driver. So he was actually um, bringing his speedster up to Salinas for a race, a land race. So there you go. Rest in peace, James Dean. I wish I would have uh, thought this out and I would have done a sunglass vlog, but Whoever ends up getting my next 100 days worth of sunglasses, they were right here at James Dean's Memorial. Now here's a bit different angle. James Dean's car would have actually been coming the same way that car just came. He would have been coming here. And apparently the story was that the driver who was coming this way and making that turn like that he just, I guess the car was sitting so low to the ground, he just didn't see it for whatever reason. So now, like I said, they've changed the intersection a little bit. So you can, <laughs> you can still make that left turn, but you couldn't, uh, you can't do it at the same point. They've made it to where you have to come up here and make a left there. Rest area stop. A little break time. All right, I just called my friend Stefan. I think we're gonna swing by his place and pass a Robles and drop off the Didi candle and then head up to Carmel. All right, we're getting close to Stefan's house. We're here. Well, that's a bummer. He thought he'd be here by now and uh, and we're already about a half an hour behind my schedule. So we're just gonna leave it at his front door and uh, maybe stop by and see him on our way back from Carmel in a couple of days. So. Bummer we didn't get to see Stefan today, but uh, you know, he's actually arranging things right now for the show that we're going to be a part of in two weeks. Well, right now we're actually passing through Salinas, and that was where James Dean's final destination was to be that day. He just never made it. Well, I'd say that's the perfect kind of Airbnb for John and I. Well, here's our beautiful Airbnb room. We've got double bunk beds and a king size bed and the homeowners here actually have this really great kind of horse Kentucky Derby theme so you guys are gonna love this property I picked it especially for this because they have horses they have a hot tub a heated pool basketball court petting zoo pigs dogs everything on the property jaws loving it let's go take a look around the property see right here in the hallway are all these Great Kentucky Derby horses. This is my bathroom, which is actually a double bathroom because there's a shower in here and everything, and then there's a full kind of makeup room in here, which I don't think I'll need, but the uh, the decoration and stuff's amazing. Where's the light? Here, check that out.
Look at that, signed by Fred Stone. Isn't this place beautiful? Look at this. Wow. So you have to know, someone like me who loves statues, loves all the statues they have around here. Let me show you. And then we'll take you around the backyard. Like I said, it's a pretty incredible property and the lady who owns it is extremely nice. There's even some little tranquility gardens over here. You can see all these benches out here for that. It's like a whole band. <laughs> Over here is the basketball court. Then if you accidentally make a wrong shot, it's gonna go over here into the petting zoo with the little baby goats. Now this is the whole backyard area. Right over in there is kind of a little hangout area some chairs and everything and then beyond that we'll go back there and check take a look because that's the um, that's the hot tub and this big building over here is the indoor pool let's go see the pig jaw well this is the pig pen but I don't see him I don't know where he is oh they're all coming up to us hi guys how are you guys hi buddies you guys ever seen a little jaw before? And that is why we came here. So he can do stuff like that. I wish this fountain was plugged in. This thing's great. And this is the indoor pool. How cool is this? She said, just to let her know, and she'll have the the top removed and I can swim in it whenever I want. Look at this awesome frog. Classic. So yeah, so I went out, I forgot my swim trunks even though I meant to bring them. So I went out and bought an American flag swimsuit and I'm gonna go swim in here in a little bit. Now that could be a good sign or a bad sign. Then I like down here at the end of the pool they have it bookended with horses. This is the little hangout area. I was talking about the little barbecue area and everything. It's actually quite a bit of seating for a barbecue area. Handful of tables. And then there is the hot tub. Take a look at this statue and then we'll go over and take a gander at the horses. Take us over to the horses. Wrong way. There's a big horse coming over to me. Hi, big guy. You looking at Jaw? <laughs> Do you scare you? Come here. Then look over here. They have a big white horse and another brown one. She's got three horses, and then over there, I believe, are the llamas.
Oh, that's a bull. There's a bull in there as well, it looks like. Beautiful. See, he's got all kinds of friends to play with. As soon as we got here, we found out they had like six dogs. John's walking over to say hi to the bulldog. Well, he was. Hi, Larry. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet, aren't you? All right, John, I'm going swimming. Check out my trunks, guys. All right, I got the Apollo Creed swim trunks on. They got the pool opened up and she's all mine. And she said it's always heated to 86 degrees. We had a great day. Jaw had a blast. He played all the way up until the dark with all the dogs here. So I think this was a success. I think this is going to be the start of a great birthday weekend for him. I want to thank Sonia Garden, Nancy Hopple, and Ginger Bowen for making contributions to my channel that are going towards Jaw's birthday. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of an impromptu stop at. James Dean's gravesite, but when I realized I was so close, I just, man, I just had to see it, and I've, I've seen so many recreations of that my whole life, I knew exactly where I was when I was there, when I first saw it, so, kind of took my breath away at first. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. We have a great day planned. Have a great night, and goodbye. Now, happy now, thanks for the failure now.